Welcome to another session of He Said, She Said regarding the tea and don't tell my partner but I made a lovely cup of thorny mango tea, black tea, it's, it's delicious. So I'll just call her and see what she thinks. It's a surprise, shh. Selena, come here. Right. Oh, smells nice. What's here? What's here? Oh, yeah. I know this one. This formerly little number. Yeah. Smells good, doesn't it? Yeah. It's it's one of the flavor tea that I, I really do enjoy. Mm. Now, today, as you, some of you may know, it's in Sydney, it's actually a crappy day, very cold and rainy. And um, I was thinking, hmm, I really want to lift my mood. What can I drink today as a tea that will take me to another place? Now, normally, sometimes in a day like this, we all want to have chai or black tea with milk, and that's very typical. But it's so typical, it's a little bit boring at times, so... I'm going with this thorny mango, which is actually a sour salt flavored black tea from Sri Lanka. And um, it has a lovely aroma that reminds me of either guava or custard apple, if you know that fruit, or fijoa, if you're familiar with that one too. Um, very tropical, so I've made some in this lovely cup here. And I'm gonna try some and see if it takes me to another place. Here we go. I'm off. And I'm back again. What do you think? Well, it didn't have that effect on me. <laughs> if that's what you mean. And you're slapping your tea like it's Japanese noodles. Um, Whoops, sorry. Yeah, where's your manner? Come on. Uh, oh, sorry. We're going to drink politely now. Like this. <laughs> uh, for your information, it's not likely that we're going to wrap with tea. Um, unless Peter has decided to go for a slightly different creative tangent but um no. <laughs> yeah i like this tea um I, I like it like today you made the mm. black it's sort of slightly um mm. heavier than medium strength but mm. it is actually still very very drinkable mm. um thorny mango as you said is mm. also called sour soap um mm. which is not sour but there is also another name did you look it up yes i did look it up but grab oh. Graviola, something. Graviola? Graviola, maybe? something. Yeah. But this, it's a rubbish name anyway, so we, we're going to hey. call it Sour Sop. Who are you to say that? Really? Okay, I sorry. Mean, someone may so, say Peter is a rubbish sorry, name. Sorry, it, it's a good name. It's, um, I'm just having trouble pronouncing it and I'm just covering my tracks, that's all. So, sorry to whoever you like the other name. Anyway, I made it a little bit lighter than I normally would make a black tea. Uh, typically, the black tea I make stronger. It's about two to three tablespoons for a straight black tea so I can have it with milk. But this one, I did one to two tablespoons in a pot. Of That's about like, 400 mils. Of about 400 mils, yes. Um, Selena typically will just use one tablespoon, make it lighter um, so we can have it without milk. Mm. Mm. So I think what I like about it is it is truly a tea that is really good either as is or um, heavy, um, heavy, uh, you know, strong with mm. uh, with milk. Both ways work really well. Mm. Um, it's so it, it, as some of you guys know about sour soap from its medicinal pop properties, mm. um, but of course here we're really just talking about the flavor, mm. um, not. You know, like it, there is no sour soap pieces in it. There is no sour soap leaves, mm. so it's really more for a pure enjoyment. Yes, pure enjoyment. <laughs> la la. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my mood is already picking up. So yes, it is quite a happy tea, um, mm. and regardless of whatever the fruit is called, which I think none of the names really does it. Uh, mm. Justice. Yeah. Um, and and in fact, I think it is also because of the name that makes it pretty hard for us to promote. Because mm. when you call it sour, so people think about sour things, and no, it's, it's not, not sour, sour at whatsoever. All. No, it's not sour at um, all. I I like to describe it. Yeah, I think mm. guava is a nice mm. kind of 
um, similarity. Mm. Um, I I think about kind of like a really floral mm. pear taste. Yeah, if you like the mix of banana mixed with pineapple, the two going well together, then you'll like this one as well, because there's a tropical taste, and pineapple is is actually sour but sweet at the same. It's mostly sweet. Mm. That's why they put it in sweet and sour. Pork with rice. <laughs> Come on, if, if if you're a fan of sweet and sour pork on rice, then you'll like this tea as well. That that's the low end. But if you're uh, wanting to go the high end, and and just get away from this crappy weather outside and just stand there, and people go, why is he in such a good mood? Why is she so happy? It's because I was drinking thorny mango tea. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> now the advertisement is over. Um, yeah, I, I I think it is also really a nice tea um, as an iced tea as well. Yes, it's got a good base to it mm. overall, and it's mixed into Sri Lankan tea, mm. um, larger leaf, which again it it gives you a really nice aroma balanced with flavor mm. um, and strength. So yeah, overall it it is you know amongst a lot of flavor black tea this is the one that I think um, we, we love to keep and use mm. from time to time if you like vanilla black I think this is a nice variation as well um, even use it as a as a base to I don't know making chai I think would be quite nice or Earl Grey yeah mm. you know if, if you added your Earl Grey probably it would be a bit I disagree like with the chai um, more Earl Grey, mm. more fruity teas, if you want a fruity tasting tea, like you like strawberry black tea, or maybe apple and cinnamon black tea, then, then this will be a, a good one to have, especially on the iced tea, but not chai, not chai. I'm going to make it with chai and see what it tastes like. Mm, let's try that one for the next talk. So sh for the next one, it's a deal. She's going to make it as a chai, and we're going to try it, and we're going to talk about it for the next one. Because it... bad. <laughs> really? You're on? Okay. You're on. Mm. Yeah, just uh, comment below and tell us who reckons it'll go. Chai with thorny mango or chai without thorny mango? We'd really like to hear your opinion. I mean, some of you must have tried it already before. <laughs> if you haven't, just put in your comments and uh, we will let you know how it goes yeah for sure and uh, of course if you are looking at getting some to try mm. um, just hop over to teas.com.au it used to be called sal soap um, but mm. you can now find it under thorny mango it's the same tea we're just trying to pique your mm. interest if you will mm. um, yeah have a go at it I think it is a really nice tea mm. let's wrap this one up eh? yeah okay. cool ciao